The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm meteorologist Jeff Hanowitz. You'll notice here on the satellite and radar composite that we are dry here locally, but if you kind of play connect the dots here, that's where we have our next cold front. It's our next weather maker, and it's really a significant weather maker. This is indeed the same cold front that did bring the tornadoes into Oklahoma. It is bringing and has brought severe weather into other portions of the country throughout the course of today and likely will bring a couple more areas some severe weather as we head into tomorrow, especially along the Gulf Coast state. So this front means business, and as it moves overhead Saturday, we're going to know about it because it's going to pour down rain. Now, your severe weather outlook for Friday, mainly up towards Erie, Pennsylvania, also into areas near Marietta, Ohio, and points south towards Jackson, New Mississippi, New Orleans, and also Beaumont, Texas. Now, the severe weather threat for us tomorrow, it's not going to happen because we're actually going to be dry and we're going to be very nice as we head into Friday. But on on Saturday, that threat for a couple of strong to severe thunderstorms increases for us, especially in areas along and east of Highway 29 after about 11, 1130 in the morning. So the Lynchburg zone and the south side zone has the best chance to see some strong to severe thunderstorms on Saturday. As far as the timing of all this, again, I'm thinking that the rain will start by about 6 or 630 in the morning into our westernmost counties, move through the region throughout the morning into the afternoon, and then start to go away as soon as about maybe 5 p.m. So overall, what we're looking at here on Saturday morning is mainly just rain. But as soon as we turn the page into the afternoon, as soon as lunchtime, we're going to start to see, I think, some thunderstorms developing, especially in areas along and to the east of I-81 and east of the Blue Ridge Parkway. But again, this is a fairly fast mover. It will be in and out of here. And I do think that uh, we're going to start to see even a little bit of sunshine to close out the day on Saturday. Now, I will tell you, if you don't see sunshine Saturday, you will on Sunday. Behind this front, high pressure will try to work its way back in, and Sunday will no doubt be a brighter day for us. Now, as far as how much rain we see here on Saturday, I would say anywhere from about a half an inch to an inch of rain. A good amount of rain is indeed headed our way on Saturday. I don't think we're going to have any flooding issues, but certainly some heavy rain, some thunder, some lightning, and even maybe a little wind and hail, especially east, will be possible. But for now, it's quiet. Tonight we're quiet. Tomorrow we're quiet. This is your Saturday forecast where everything starts to change for us. It was breezy outside at times for us today. Those winds have settled down as they generally do at night. And winds are for the most part calm until you head up towards Hot Springs where you have a, a, a southwest wind at about 12 miles per hour right now. However, the winds are going to strengthen again tomorrow. The winds are going to start out fairly light, but as we head, say, from lunchtime on, from the afternoon hours on tomorrow, we're going to have uh, sustained winds about 7 to 14 miles per hour, gusting to about 20 to 25, if not 30 miles per hour heading into the afternoon tomorrow. So the winds will strengthen for us throughout the day Friday. And then the winds, I think, will stay on the stronger side for us here as we head into Saturday, Sunday, and potentially even into Monday. 65 right now in Hot Springs, 63 Withville, 72 Roanoke, about 10 degrees cooler in Martinsville and Danville. If we didn't break any record highs today, we came close. I don't think we break any record highs tomorrow because we have to hit 85 to 95 degrees to break those records. However, I think tomorrow we're going to hit 80 to 88, which is a good 12 to 15 degrees above average. For tonight, fair, pleasant overnight lows, about 50 to 58. Still quite warm tomorrow with our fair share of sun. More sun in the morning, probably more clouds later in the day. High temperatures tomorrow, mainly in the 80s, although the higher elevations may stay in the 70s. Speaking of the 70s, that's about where we're going to get up to on Saturday, 71. Now we're in the 60s Sunday through Thursday, dry Sunday through Tuesday, and then we'll have another chance for some rain Wednesday into Thursday. Today we forecast a high of 88. The actual high was 89, $10 in the pot, $360 raised for the Blacksburg Refugee Partnership.